I'm going to practice decision making for Wright Patterson Mahjong. In this exercise, I want to focus on speed. I want to try to make decisions in under two minutes. If you're a beginner, say four minutes. If you're intermediate, three minutes. This is a really great exercise if you want to improve the speed of your decision making, not only for regular play, but also if you play in a tournament. If you have a set at home, give it a try and let me know if it helps your game. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone out with a stopwatch app. Any stopwatch will do. We'll do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints and laps two and four will be set up. We'll just say we're the dealer for these. So I'll take 14 random tiles and then create a mock Charleston. First, I want to roll for prevailing though. In this case, I rolled a 10, which would be south. We have mixed suits here. Four, six, six, eight, two, four. I think we should play little two, four, six, eight. Look at all these pairs in here. Four, six. So we can pass these three. We're collecting evens. Let's break that up. There's an eight. And another eight and a two. Two discards for two, four, six, eight. Little two, four, six, eight. We can't keep all of these, so I think that we have more than two discards. Let me read little two, four, six, eight to you though. Little two, four, six, eight is on page 23, number 52. Two or three suits, one pung each of twos, four, sixes, and eights with either a pair of twos or eights. So here we have two, four, six, eight. So those will need to go away and those, and then a pair of either twos or eights. So we have five discards, but we could pung, 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 pung. All those are ready to pung. All we need is a pair. So I think that was successful, even though we had five discards. If you would have done something differently for this one, write sprint one and what you would have done differently. Let's go on to the next one. Nine. So that would be east is prevailing. Okay, so here we have mixed suits. We have two, four, six, seven, nine, a pung of threes, five, eight. I think we should focus on dots. We have a lot of discards though. We only have seven tiles, which is half. So let's see if we can get some more dots. Dots and honors, honors will do. Here's an honor and a dot. So that's helpful. Let's pass these three. We're looking for dots and honors. Two dots. Three tiles to pass. This is a bit risky. Three, four, six. I think I'd focus on all dots to mix that up a little bit. White dragon. That might help. East, south. I think this turned out pretty good. One suit with honors with one discard, or we could play three, four, five, two, four. Let's see. Let's look at jewel hands really quick. I think the numbers are not quite right. Two, three, four, six, eight. Two, three, four, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven towards pearl. Or three, four, five, seven, nine. Three, five, nine. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven. So evens there. And then the other option, of course, would be maybe a Peng Chao or piano keys. Those are all on page 18 under sequence hands. Piano keys is a sequence of one to nine with two pungs and a pair two through eight. Here's a pung and two pair. I think piano keys is probably going to be really good. Either that or pung chow. Potential chow. There's a potential pung or pair. Potential pung or pair. Potential chow. Potential chow. There's a lot of chow potential there. I'd say we're in between piano keys or pung chow with four discards. That's the way I would play this one. If you would do something differently though, write sprint two in the comment section and what you would have done differently. We'll go on to the last one. Okay, for this one, we do have all the fours. I'm thinking maybe even a date hand, fours and sevens. We could do double numbers with fours and fives. So let's see, let's hold fours, fives, and the seven for a potential date hand. And if we're playing a date hand, I'd hold the white. So let's, let's pass these three. There are eights and a two. Let's see, 18, oh, we do have an O. Oh, we don't have any ones. Maybe we should switch to two, four, six, eight. Let's see, I think with double numbers, we need an honor. Two, four, eight, four, eight. Let's see, four, five, seven. Let's give up the seven. Okay, there's a five. Four, five, two, nine. So four, five, four, five. I still see double numbers in there. Let's go ahead and give up the eight. And we have a red and a west. Okay, so I think probably the best way to go here would be double numbers. We would have three discards. We can't use all of these, so at least one would have to go. Uh, and then we would have options, of course, but here we have four, five, four, five. We could always play try numbers as well. So we have three discards with options for a number hand, either try numbers or double numbers. The number hands are on page 22. Number 38 is double numbers. Two pungs of the same numbers in two suits with a pair of Windsor Dragons. Or try numbers number 39 is pungs of the same number in each suit with a pung and a pair of wins or a pung and a pair of dragons. I think probably double numbers is going to be the easier hand to play this time because we don't have any pairs with our honors. But I would still hold the four at least. So probably this could go away. We could be between try numbers or double numbers. If you would have done something differently here, write in the comment section sprint three and what you would have done differently. Let's see how things went with timing. Those were not too bad. I think having three discards at the end is ideal. So four or five is a bit long, but some of those were Pung hands, which are nice. And that uh, Pung Chow piano keys hand, that was a pretty good result. So I'm happy with the results in that regard. Let's see the timing though. Sprint one was one minute, eight seconds. Sprint two, one minute, 17. And sprint three was one minute, 39. Not too bad. I think that if you're advanced, you should make decisions in under two minutes. If you're intermediate, under three. And if you're a beginner, under four. If any of those feel uncomfortable, just start with something that pushes you and then try to make decisions quicker and quicker and quicker. And that way you might have a more pleasant game with your friends and a little more comfort during a tournament. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. 
Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for Wright Patterson Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.